Okay. On March 2nd, my parents, on my behalf, signed a contract. And this contract, it's called life. Like in a job, life comes along with comfort and discomfort. I am Nicole Hem, and I come from a broken family. And like I said, life, indeed, comes with comfort and discomfort. Now, don't get me wrong. I thank God and my parents for being alive, you know? But the point I'm trying to make is the fact that we don't seek, we don't sign up for things that are unpleasant, you know? But despite of it, we need to embrace the emotion we have due to the situation we've been signed up for. So, have you ever felt like really mad, really sad due to external factors which you cannot control at all? I bet every single one of you have at some point in life. And all of a sudden, someone asks you, how are you? What is the first thing that comes up to your mind? What's the first thing you tend to answer? Think about it. Think about it. I don't want to generalize, but the first thing we tend to answer is, I am okay. But why? Why do we say we are okay? If in reality, we know we're not okay. We're not fine. But yet still, we say, I am good. I'm well. I'm perfect right now. We're not. I don't want to generalize. But the reason why I believe the vast majority of us say, I'm okay. They use a positive statement. It's because we don't know how we feel. We don't. And because of it, we're saying neutral phrases, such as, I'm fine, positive statements. But have you ever thought about the fact that, that knowing how we feel creates a big impact on how we perform? Well, it does. Knowing how you feel, taking control of how you feel, it's key on how you perform as a student, as a friend, as a person in general. Now, what is the first thing you would do? You would come and you would identify your emotion you're feeling in an accurate way. You're going to find how you're feeling due to a situation. And after you do so, you're going to separate. You're going to separate how you feel with who you are. Now you're going to wonder, how am I supposed to separate how I feel with how I act? Yeah, it's very simple. Instead of saying, I am sad. Instead of saying, I am angry. Instead of saying, I am happy. Say, I notice I'm feeling happy. I notice I'm feeling angry. I notice I'm feeling stressed. Why? The reason why you're going to change that simple word is as you're freeing yourself of potentially identifying with an emotion which you do not own. Because emotions, you don't own them. You don't. And as you do so, you're freeing yourself. You're taking care of who you are. Now, have you ever felt like crying, shouting, 
In other words, with thou control or like having an existential crisis. Everyone here has. And it's okay. It's okay. But here it comes the fact that we need to take control of it. Now, ever since I stepped the scenario, you might be wondering, why on earth, ah, why on earth do I have this pink dolphin? This pink dolphin, it's called Livy. And it has helped me so much on controlling my emotions and controlling my action. But let's get clear. This is not magical. This is a simple stuffed animal. So how am I supposed to get control of myself and my emotions with this stuffed animal? At first sight, people might think, oh, she has a stuffed animal because she wants to sleep in class. Trust me, sometimes I do, but I won't. <laughs> I won't. The reason why I have this dolphin here with me today is as it serves me as a resource to control strong emotions such as stress, happiness, anger. As in several occasions, I have verbally and physically abused this stuffed animal, which is why she doesn't bear those beautiful eyes she once had. You can see. <laughs> um, and I've been able to free myself of those emotions. Now, I'm not saying that you should go ahead and buy a stuffed animal because otherwise you're gonna feel better about how you act and how you feel. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you should focus. Focus those strong emotions, have you some sort of hobby, find a stress ball, find a way to focus that emotion, that strong emotion, and let yourself be empowered by it. Let yourself be empowered by it and become a better version of yourself. In addition to a soft animal or a hobby, I invite you all to find a way to express yourself with friends. Use people around you. Use people who love you. Now, let's stop talking about this stuffed animal. Let's stop. And let's go back on talking about how, how we feel, our emotions. Up to this day, I still don't know how to control all my emotions or how I act. No, I don't. And I'm not saying that at some point you are going to be able to. No, we're not going to master all of our emotions or actions. We're not. But I'm, what I'm saying is this process is going to be a long process in which you're going to find a way to control and get a better grip. And from my experience, I've been able to find those discoveries, find those tips I'm giving to you. Thanks to my friends. Thanks for those people who love me, those people who care. And if I'm able to get a better control on how I feel and on how I act, I invite you all to do so. And let yourself, like I said, let yourself be empowered by those emotions and become a better version of yourself. Because trust me, you're able to do so. And like I mentioned, we're not going to be 100% in control of how we feel, how we act. No, we're not. But we're going to get a better grip. We're going to get a step further on how we feel, how we're going to perform. So with that say, said, dominating emotions is really important. And knowing what is emotional intelligence, it's essential on how we act, how we are. So I invite you all to practice what I've said today, and I want to thank you for listening.